Hey folks, Dirty here for Premier Basics, and did you see the new trailer movie called Last Night in Soho? No? Well, me neither. But we saw the trailer and you can see a super cool neon text animation, exactly what we're going to recreate today. We already have a background and a timeline and this is actually just an image of a concrete wall with two Lumetri effects onto it to make it dark and blue. Nothing special, but it recreates the same look and feel as the original. Now, as for the text, something that I find super important is the font that we're going to use. Neon text has a typical look and if we open up the Creative Cloud desktop app, we can click on the font icon on the top and then choose browse more fonts and this brings us to the adobe fonts library which are all free to use and are part of your subscription so just browse through here and once you have something that you like you can sync it and then we can find it automatically back within premiere so let's create the title now for this we just have to take the text tool click in the program monitor and start typing however if you're going to use multiple styles of text just like us it's a good idea to separate each one within the graphics layer it organizes things more you can simply Simply click in your program monitor with the text tool again to start a new text field. In the essential graphics panel, you'll see that we have two layers now. Next up, let's add a style to the text. Give it the one at font, the one we downloaded earlier, set the alignment, change the color, adjust the size, and so on. And to reassemble the original one, we're also going to integrate two different styles to the text. And here's where that second text layer comes in handy. We've got our text or title and it's starting to look a little bit like neon, but it's missing a lot lot, such as the flickering and the neon glow. And we actually got a super cool trick to do that, but first a word from today's sponsor. Storyblocks is an ever-growing library filled with over a million royalty-free stock assets, helping you to create more and faster without limiting your creative vision. In their demand-driven library, Storyblocks constantly adds new stock assets, such as 4K and HD footage, After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, music, images, sound effects, and so much more. Now, do you want some cool title or logo animation, but you are lacking time? Then simply download one of their Premiere Pro or After Effects templates. And in a world full of diversity, the need for diverse content is super important. That's why Storyblocks and their restock library helps creators find the right stock assets that reflect your communities and stories. Now, every creator should have a Storyblocks subscription, and you can choose a plan that works best for your budget. We've been working with the all-inclusive access plan for many years now, which gives you unlimited downloads and you really enjoy it. And that way you can try out multiple downloads and find the perfect fit creating more, spending less, and without sacrificing quality. Now, you can click the first link in the description down below or go straight to storyblocks.com forward slash Premiere Basics to start downloading right away. Now, back into Premiere, we're gonna use the track matte technique to create that flickering neon effect. First, take the rectangle tool, which you can find in the toolbar under the pen, and now draw a square around the first letter of the words. The square can be a little bit bigger than the letter itself, and let's change the fill color to white. Next, we're going to animate the opacity of that square shape. Go to the effects controls panel and find the opacity under the shape properties. And it's really important that you use this opacity property and not the global one, since we're going to create more of these rectangles on the same graphics layer. Enable animation for the shape opacity and let's start with a zero value. Then go a few frames forward in time and increase the value to 100. And now we can start to add random fluctuations to the opacity value. It is really your choice and you can make it random, just make sure that you have a flickering effect. And this way it seems like a faulty neon sign. When you first turn on such a sign, it flickers more intense, but once the gas inside the lamp is warmed up, it only flickers a little bit, just enough to be visible. And that is exactly what we're trying to achieve with the opacity animation. Now, the next step is to do this for all the other letters, but we can actually speed this up a little bit with a nifty trick. First, let's give this square shape a name for some better structure. We're going to use the same letter as it's covering. Then we duplicate that square, just copy and paste it to save some time. And now it's just a matter of repositioning it so that it's covered the next letter. Also, we are going to offset the opacity keyframes. We don't want the same flickering on the other letters, so simply select the keyframes and drag them so that they start a little bit later. And you can guess it, this needs to be done for every other letter. Duplicate the square shape, which you can just do by copying, basting it, then reposition it, and we're going to offset the keyframes. But since we can copy and paste, it is actually not that bad. 
Once that is done, we can start using these squares as a track mat. Look for the track mat effect in the effects library and add that to the text layer. Then inside the effects controls panel, we're going to set the mat option to video track 3, which are the squares, and the composite option to mat alpha. And this will target and use those squares as a mask for the text layer. And if you've done all of these steps correctly, you will already have a flickering effect but obviously it's missing a lot of details. Select the text and the square graphics layer, right click and choose nest to group them together. Next, we're going to give it some perspective, just like the original. Find the basic 3D effect in the effects library and drag that to the nested sequence. This allows you to swivel and tilt the text, giving it some perspective. And if you like, you can also give it a small animation for some extra dynamic. Simply create a keyframe for both the properties, go till the end of the clip and change their value. There we go, nice little swivel perspective animation. Finally, we will be adding the neon glow. And if you've seen our tutorial about how to create realistic glow, you know that we have a nice technique for that. Hold down Alt and drag the nested sequence one track higher to make a duplication. Then from the effects library, look for the Gaussian blur, which you can drag over to the duplicate. Then from the effects controls, increase that blurriness of that Gaussian blur. And finally, head over to the opacity property from which you want to change the blending mode to screen, and that's it. If you liked the video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. It helps the YouTube algorithm and support the channel. Now here on my left, I got some more text and title animation tutorials. Definitely check that out or just check out our channel on which you can find a whole bunch more Premiere Pro tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Storyblocks, for the support. And as always, stay creative.